The students of Decorah High School in this industrial technology class are busy working on a project that will save lives. We're putting the brace on so it'll hold it equal, for the, so when the bald eagles sit on it, it doesn't tip on them. As a Decora native, sophomore Eric Luzum is very familiar with the Eagle Cam that made Decora a name in households worldwide. My mom's a teacher and I ended up having to watch it every night because she wanted the update for her kids for the next day, so I got pretty used to watching the Eagles. So after the first Eagle got electrocuted in July, an organization called Raptor Nation started raising funds for this school project. You guys, uh, let's, let's do our work and put your safety glasses on. I want everybody with safety glasses on. Industrial tech teacher John Condon, a.k.a. Mr. C, can explain. The Eagle lands here and touches this wire and then touches this wire. They have about a six-foot wingspan. Uh, they could be electrocuted and they often are electrocuted. These perches give eagles a higher place to land away from the dangerous wires. The students are constructing 20 for Alliant Energy to install on power poles with funds and materials from Raptor Nation and Decora Building Supply. If Alliant Energy and all the local power companies, the RECs, are willing to put these up, I would bet that other schools and their industrial technology programs would be more than willing uh, to participate. It gives the students a great project. So isn't this supposed to go the other way? The students learn. Two out of these three now have been electrocuted. The eagles survive and the birds millions of fans will be able to keep following the eagles lives. A lot of happy people. In Decorah, Becca Habiger, KWWL News.